open a new way. Show us a new way. Help us to create an altar dedicated to you with all of your favorite offerings. Mother Sekhmet, thank you. And just tell her exactly what you need from this moment forward. What need has not yet been met? What do you desire, really desire? And if there feels like, if it feels like there's an obstacle, please give this to Sekhmet too. All the barriers, the blocks, the walls, the whatever obstacle, We ask you, Sekhmet, to burn those obstacles, to burn them, to melt them, to alchemize and transmute them into pure gold, into prosperity, abundance, clarity. We are devoted to you. We are connected with you. And we set up this altar, we co-create it together right now. We set this up right now. Imagine you're wearing a long red robe or dress or a gown. We're setting up a red cloth and a red candle is lit. And you can do this again whenever you need it, lighting the myrrh, the frankincense, the cinnamon, the sandalwood, the oris. If you have a carnelian, citrine, amber, topaz, tiger's eye, any kind of rubies or garnets or red agates, her libations or beer, pomegranate juice, her power tools are unks, statues, lions. Allow yourself to unwind and let go of everything that's been holding you back, keeping you stuck. As you imagine yourself sitting at her feet, bringing your focus to your breath. Taking a slow, deep inhale and exhaling fully allowing your whole, whole body to just unwind and relax breathing into the count of two three and four at your own pace in your own space see yourself returning to the desert and this time you're in human form Feel that sand, that hot sand beneath your feet. Feel the heat of the sun on your face. Feel your legs as they begin to trudge through the deep sand moving forward. Seeking the temple of the great lioness segment once again. The goddess of what's no longer working. The goddess of destruction and recreation. The most powerful one. Feel yourself ascending these sandstone steps. Right in front of you. Moving toward this large ornate entrance of her shrine, walking through these doors, these giant doors through this hall. Are these red candles are all lit and reaching, finding yourself standing in front of a large fire pit with a red flame lit. 
It's blazing in front of you, in front of statues of the lioness, goddess, Sekhmet. And feel this energy radiating through you and around you as if all of these statues are coming to life and they're now embodied with the very essence of Sekhmet herself. Her eyes watching you the entire time. Moving closer to these statues. You may kneel at the feet of these statues and softly begin to chant her mantra, Sa Sekim Sahu, over and over and over again until you feel lighter and freer and stronger and healthier. Notice if she has awakened to connecting, eye gazing. Notice the statue, this one statue begins to come to life and move toward you. And you may hear a voice, a very soft voice at first. She asks you why you've come. Why have you come? Why have you come to my temple? Now is the time to ask for strength. Be completely honest and vulnerable when sharing. Tell her everything in confidence, even your deepest, darkest secrets. Tell her what you need the most right now. She may ask you, why have you awoken her? So please take some time to get clear and connect Converse with this goddess. Offer her a libation of ale at her feet. You may express your desires, your requests in your own way, in your own words, with a verse, with a poem, or with a song of gratitude. Thanking her, slowly walking away leaving the safety of this temple and venturing out again into the sands of timeless time, the sands of the holy ones, the Essenes and the desert. Again, feel that warm, soothing texture of the sand beneath your feet taking in a nice anchoring breath and exhaling fully. Breathe in sec, breathe out met. Breathe in sec, breathe out met. Inhale the essence of sec and exhale met. Just allow this time. And she takes you deeper into the womb of this pyramid, of the womb of her body. How does it feel spreading out and being held in the womb? of Sekhmet, breathing in her nutrients, her essence, her energy, her frequency, her vibration, the vibration of freedom and liberation, just being re again. 
and moving further and further away from all of this planet's duality, hierarchy, patriarchy, all of this planet's, this dimension's intensity, division, separation, lack of communication, Allow the sun to bathe you, to warm you until your spirit begins to glow. And she begins to burn away all maternal, paternal, all female, feminine, disempowered, silenced, suppressed energies, all vows, oaths, contracts, hexes, curses, spells, obligations, binding, swearings. All of these vows and contracts, these agreements, these promises are all being burned in this red fiery flame. And now Sekhmet tells you, you can rewrite them. You no longer have to 